hi! Welcome to the 3D Pendant. Let's make some cubes. I know, we already did cubes. But spheres now have a whole playlist. So I don't want cubes to feel left out. Remember this cube? There were three cube tutorials just in this video. And then this cube. Made on the 3D Made mat. That was my second video I ever posted. Both of these videos are linked in the description if you want to refresh your memory. However, there are always more ways to make anything. So let's look at four more ways to make a cube. All cubes start with a square. Cubes have six sides, but for the first method we will need to join just four and the other two sides will just happen. Find something with a corner to provide you with 90 degree angle and attach the two squares together. The setback of this method is that it doubles the corner lines. But we will not worry about it now and repeat the process in all four corners. Once the cube is together, we can edit out the double lines. And we have a cube. If you need to make more precise cube, you may need to use a turntable with a wire in the middle to keep the center of the squares aligned directly above each other. This contraption is particularly helpful as the shapes get larger and or more challenging. Like if you need to make a dodecahedron for instance. Same square, but this time we will connect the corners to the central wire. By the way, if more precision is required, try using a ruler and overextend the lines over each end to get a cleaner corner without that blob that comes from stopping the pen right in the corner. Yes, the downside is you have to then trim it either with pliers or a heat tool. But it gives you way cleaner corners. And also notice the lines are way straighter with a ruler. But it depends on how neat you need it for the project at hand. But back to our quick cube with central axis. The second square doesn't need the connections to the center because it stays attached to the work surface until the cube is done. Then we'll need something to lift it to the height that equals the side of the cube. Thread the first square in place. bridge the sides downward. Which is way easier than building them upward because you work with gravity and not against it. And 
remember to let each connection cool completely before you move anything. Then trim it, if needed. And you can also edit out the crosshairs if you wish, since there is just one pair of them. And here is your quick cube made on the axis. Now for a slow cube made on the same axis. This method connects every single side to the center and even though the method is slower, it will let you build more complex shapes by perfectly aligning the opposite faces. of this method is that you continue drawing continuing the line from the previous side onto the perpendicular plane. So no double lines and the drawing is always happening on the flat supported surface allowing for drawing a script or any curved design should you need one. gets harder to access certain parts, you may need to make some elements before you put the rest of your project in the way. adjacent faces done, it becomes possible to thread the project onto the wire to keep the two opposite faces in alignment. to the inside space diminishes, you may need to make more and more lines beforehand and just attach them along the sides. the cube with all the crosshairs still in place. You can choose to edit them out, but I only use this method when I'm planning to attach more elements to the sides, so I will need them to stay in there. 
Another reason to use the rolling method is to be able to create curved design elements that can be drawn only on a solid surface and not in the air. Here is the cube with the curved net on all sides. And last but not the least, contour lifting. This becomes useful as the cube gets bigger and therefore more flimsy and fragile and could therefore benefit from additional structure inside the cube. Make as many of the original squares connected to the center as you feel necessary to give your cube additional structure and strength. are not as straight but it all depends what you need for the project at hand. What about cubes with completely solid sides? Well, that is yet another story and we will leave that for a future video. So until then, go and make something. <laughs>